Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I'm an ideogram and I got a quick tip for you guys. If you're a YouTuber, a small YouTuber, or an upcoming YouTuber, and you don't have Photoshop, or you don't have design skills, I'm going to show you how you can create images, in particular, YouTube thumbnails, for free using AI, and more importantly, it'll have the correct wording or the correct text in it. For example here, I have a French bulldog named Kingston, and I came up with this weird whimsical illustration of a French bulldog reading a book, and he's sitting in a chair like a total boss. The total, the Kingston is spelled correctly, and I did a few generations here. Let's take a look at another one here. Not quite as good, but the wording here is correct. And this one here, this is kind of more photorealistic, although the dog looked like it maybe peeked its head into a volcano. The wording is correct. Again, guys, this is completely free, and this is why it's interesting. It's also got this new thing called Magic Prompt that's in Ideogram. Now, before I go any further here, if I click on Settings, you'll see here that I've got up 23 of my 25 prompts. So I can run this 25 a day for free. So that gives you 100 different images you can select from. So it's pretty damn good, all things considered. So here we go. I'm on ideogram.ai, free to do. Let's come up with an idea for a YouTube thumbnail. So what is this one? This is about, I don't know, let's say I've got a dog. Let's do another one, a, an English bulldog named Kingston. Uh, uh, what's he not reading a book? Maybe he is playing, playing on the beach. Let's just go with something silly. On the beach, his name, Kingston, is on a sign. Something like that. And before I hit generate, look at this here. You'll see here that I've got magic prompt. This is allows you to create generations that bring in lots of other unique ideas that you may not have thought about. Like the last one I said, you know, dog Kingston playing, you know, reading a book, but it put him in an armchair. It gave him, you know, like glasses and all sorts of weird things. So I tend to leave this on auto, but if you have a very specific prompt, you can turn this off. And if you want all of your shots to be with magic prompt, so you just want to see, hey, program, go crazy, give me your best, go for it. So I'm going to leave it on auto. Let Also, the ratio, 16 to 9, this is the standard YouTube thumbnail uh, ratio. So 16 to 9 is what you want, although if you're doing, you know, those silly shorts or whatever that some people seem to watch, all one of you, go ahead, click on that. And then here you go. There's three different models of Videogram. Use 1.0. This is their latest model. It launched yesterday, I believe. It is awesome, and if you don't want anybody seeing your stuff, you can go public to private. Anyways, there you go. I'm, you can add in some more things over here, I guess, while I got you. I can make it like an illustration style. I could 3D render it here. Maybe I want it in a poster, and I don't know. I'm just having some fun here. I don't know. Maybe one more thing. Let's go with Vibrant. Okay, there you go. So these have all been added in as additional styles on top of my prompt. I'm going to click on Generate. Keep in mind, Magic Prompt is Auto. And then I'm going to come back when it's done, show you a few examples of what we got for YouTube Thumb. All right, so that only took a few seconds here. And this is the first batch, of course. I'm just going to click on this one here. And there we go. We got a French Bulldog. He looks a little sad. I'm not going to lie. So maybe I would remix this. But we've got our sign. He's on a beach. It's got all those styles that I put in there. You know, uh, vibrant, uh, illustration, 3D render, etc. And his name is rendered correctly. In theory, this could be an example of a, you know, of a thumbnail that I could use for YouTube. Let's click on this one, Kingston English Bulldog. It even went a little further. And it actually, I don't know if it meant to say Bulldog with the old spelling, but there you go. You can see that here. This is another example. Here's another example. Kingston, this one got it wrong. So two out of three, three out of four. Well, that O is a little odd. But there you go, guys. This is just one example of what you can do. Now, if you want to go ahead and make some changes, you can click on these three dots or the ellipses and I can edit it, I can share this, I can download the image, I can remix it. So if I don't like the fact that it has, let's say, a illustration style, I can take that out. If I wanna add to it and say, hey, you know what, this is great, but um, let's use a purple and yellow, I don't know, color, uh, yeah, purple and yellow, uh, yeah, purple and yellow color. Prominent? Sure, let's make him prominent. Sure, whatever. Something like that. You know, just have some fun with it. Maybe a palette would be a better way to pronounce it or describe it, but whatever. And if I wanted to make magic prompt on all of them, for example, I can go ahead and do that. Click generate. It will regenerate them. It'll remix them. Again, you'll see how fast this is. It's already at 51%, 63. Done. Crazy. Look at that. Purple and yellow like I asked for. 
There, it did it. Kingston spelled correctly, although the N and G is a little bit close together. And there you go. Click on it, and maybe I like this one. Click the ellipses, download it. Done, guys. That is that simple. I've created a YouTube thumbnail. And again, if I click on this here, you'll see I've got 21 prompts left, which means I've got 84 uh, more images I can generate today for free. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching.